Okay, so about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please. It'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now some other guy, Nick of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this, hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's... it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. Doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. Dad, I love you, and I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though so before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave, and she's strong. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. She's that I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is.
We need to get in there eventually. But maybe I should look around the property first. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and read until the sun went down. Anna and I spent our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations, Anna never got rid of this sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. I want everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No! You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that.
Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you... Are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. I've never even had my car broken into. It's hard to imagine how she feels. Anna has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone.
I'm finally there. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. People in film noirs always offer a stiff drink in times like this. Might work. Her go-to soft drink. She actually likes to drink this stuff straight. Could do. Don't stress about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. She used to drink this every day in middle school. Brings her back to being 10. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Anna always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. Might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break? You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet.
It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. At the bar or the fishing shack. Come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house, it's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? I know, the timing wasn't great. Your dad's accident, the mine investigation, me being hated by all of Basswood. That's... That's not why I said no. You knew I didn't want to get married. I told you before, I, I never liked the idea, never wanted a ring. When you asked, I just... I just thought I was with someone who didn't know me. That terrified me. And then... It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick if my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't doomed. It's just like every relationship. It requires a lot of work from everyone involved. Whether people are ready to put in the work, well, that's different. I think we weren't. Not really. At least I wasn't. Good to see you realized that. Maybe. We were... we were younger. Different. It feels like a lifetime has passed. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and... Whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam.
I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Got the A. Corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. Why is it so dark in here? As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? 
No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't actually over the last few months remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. He said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Uh, I'm to get Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Does your mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. You should at least call your mom. My mom? She's hardly even there. She's always so... Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I... 
I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. Oh, so I'm mistaken and you did question people? Or did you just say all those dumb things adults say that don't mean anything? They wouldn't have told me anything interesting. Or you were just like them. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You ever consider journalism? You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. Fighting to bring people truth in a world that doesn't care about it. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay, or make me into you, or my father. You're just telling me what I want to hear or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth, for once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. Call your mother. What? Don't! I'll call her right now. Don't! You can't just run away. Fine! I'll go home! Don't call her! It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever! You're just like everyone else! Ooh, harsh. But fair. Sorry, Bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. This is either new or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything.
Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him, grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. Stone Cold Killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. This record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. But she still has a long way to go. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. <laughs> Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. 
It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. All right, I think I went through everything here. D met Nick on the day he died. He could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Bog never was the social type, just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. 
He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Yeah, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. This is either new, or Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. 
Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. D met Nick on the day he died. He could be the last person who saw him alive. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens.
If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. What were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. I just have to figure out why. Gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. <sighs> Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is.
Richard, a.k.a. Dickie, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two a doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. 
and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lions. That's enough. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. It's the knowing they might get away with it. The lie they made up being seen as true that just burns a hole right through me. Yeah, you're right, I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding straight into the back roads with no backup. You're afraid to let things go. Maybe she'd be lucky if she never saw you again. Are you still with me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, let's, let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want?
I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off road, has four wheels. Makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. I guess that explains how he ended up here. <whistles> Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. Tyler set himself up nicely. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. <laughs> Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dicky is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. I need to find out where Dicky's hiding. He's here somewhere.
Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Sup? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's J.R. I'm... Wait. You're that fucking reporter! Was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. I told you to buzz off, Peckerwood. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not gonna help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. 
As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here. And even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others. Even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Did he say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. No quad. And it's right next to another mobile home. It's not here. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit.
I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I wanna reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'll be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Socratic philosophy. Dog eared and well read. Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. Flammable lacquer and varnish. This thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. These shavings would be perfect kindling. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction.
Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dicky. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? Distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. Give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. First step, the statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long.
people would move differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. flares. I'll risk being discovered then. flares. I'll risk being discovered then. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. Tyler will see me under there if he comes into the cabin. Thank you. 
fire flares. I'll risk being discovered then. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dickie. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just wanna take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You've gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man. Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. She said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't hey, say... Hey, ass wife! Shit. 
should have known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Come on. You fucking coward. Someone give me my rifle. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, you'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who question that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam! Sam! Sam stop! Sam, there's a turret! Stop! 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 Sam, stop! 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 Okay, you nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! No! Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again.
Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. Making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time, right? Wonder what's in store for me now. Back to square one. starting from the same position and looking at the same door. and stick to it.
always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were there. Looking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. Did you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. But when the lights are out... I don't need that right now. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. I'm not always happy either. 
being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Sam! Come with me! What? Sam? Which one are Sam? you? Sam! Sam! Sam? Sam! Sam! Sam, come with me. Sam, come with me. Sam? You and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam, come with me. Sam, come with me. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Ha, <laughs> you fell for it. I got that out of a toy machine in front of the pharmacy. Oh, Sam. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. You don't want to marry me. And what makes you so great? What makes you think you can turn me down? It's not like that. You know that. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry. I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? have a lot of friends. No one... Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. 
Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Hey, Bug. I'm gonna come back. Sooner rather than later. You'll see me again before you even know it. We'll go fishing. Yeah, sure. I'm not stupid, you know. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. You're leaving town just like that. Not even in a Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. They just want to put useless labels on it. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. There's only one of you. I can't. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Folk. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus.
said this conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Now, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary friend? I had one at his age. Yes, you had real friends. He talks to himself more than he talks to other people. You should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. Your program's meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. coming here. You know? You got real closure with Anna, even if Joan thinks we're a prick. Now that, that's on me. I just do not get that girl. It's real easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. 
you adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Stop. I get it. I'm nervous. What if you make the wrong choice? Can I make a wrong choice? That's one I don't really have an answer for. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment but we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society, be happy. Let things go, accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together.